make some money and then um you know stalin or whoever will be like really really proud of us so this is the map and it's blank as you can see we got this great big river here and look at how huge the map is though i mean we could build all here and then i think this is like a border with possibly like another nation or something i don't know but it looks like there's checkpoints all along here so we could build all here all the way around here See, there's like this place up here, and there's Staralinia, I don't know what that is, and Calzina, and whatever. So we have all this space to build in. We have to, we have to start extracting resources from the earth. We have to build some factories to process those resources, and then I think we have to sell the resources and make some money. Uh, but we're going to need people uh, ready, willing, and able to help with that. We're going to have to give them tools as well. Like, we're going to have to build farms and we're going to have to give them equipment. We're going to have to build factories and we're going to have to build them houses and all sorts of shit like that. It's going to be nuts. We have to make a wall. Yes. Checkpoints. Yeah, yeah, that's right. In the UK, it's play school and nursery. Yeah, that's right. Will there be a Soviet money pit? Well, we can try. We can try to make a Soviet money pit, but I'm not promising anything. Anyway, as you can hear, there's some really nice, um quintessential Soviet music. I think these are all like worker anthems from the Soviet era. Um, and they're, they're quite nice. So we can listen to that in the background. I hope it's not too loud. Let me know if it's too loud, okay? A, a, a ruble pit. A people pit. A gulag. I think we can make all those things. Alright, the first thing that we want to do, I think, is probably build a coal mine. Or do we even need to build a coal mine? I think the first thing that we want to build is maybe a, um, a coal power plant. Okay, we have no coal, but we're going to need to power things up, alright? So this is going to be uh, the coal power plant for our great, our great nation here. And we're going to hook this up like... Wait, hang on a second. I want to be able to see like where I'm placing this thing. So we're going to zoom in a little bit here. Put this coal power plant like close to the river, right? We want to pollute as much as possible. Okay, let's put this bad boy here. In Britain. So I think because we placed a plant here, now this becomes like a little town or city or a region or whatever. And so we don't necessarily have to make one big megalopolis. We can have like little towns because it's a huge map right we can have little towns that connect up with roads and we can have them specialize you know we can have like a coal mining town we could have like a fucking gulag town we could have a money pit town like we could have like all the towns right it'd be really good um let's start off with some gravel roads we'll start off with a couple of gravel roads that lead to our power plant and then lead into the city here or a town, I should say, which is going to be where the people live. These people are going to live here, and they're going to work at this power plant, okay? They're going to keep our Soviet Republic filled with power. That's right. It's going to be nuts. Name a town after you. All right, I'll get right on it, okay? All right, so we're going to have to build some residential buildings. We can make flats out of brick, uh, or we can make... Uh, flats out of brick or flats out of brick or some more flats out some of these are more expensive than others day I one these are the fortunate sun intensifies we have a green light on operation free dong we shall take out this new communist shithole fuck the reds better dead than red only good commie is a dead one signed general macarthur better dead than red okay i'm gonna build a whole bunch of houses here because i want to I want to get a whole bunch of people moved in to work at this power plant to start things off, okay? So there, we're going to build all of these, and then we're going to give these guys a mud road. We're going to give these guys... Hang on a second, not that mud road, though. We're going to... These guys are going to have a mud road. Hey, that's six. right, you How's bastards. it going, mate? Oh, that's wonderful. I'm so happy to hear you are well. I, I already love this game. It looks awesome. Please yeah. name the thing after me, mate. Oh, the fucking soundtrack is incredible. Um, okay, Madogum, I will. Thanks so much, man. I hope you're good too. Thanks for the bits, Flinty. Thanks so much for the donation as well. 
thanks. Is this also Soviet Anthem? Yeah, I think this is like an 80s one though. This one's more like from the 80s. Okay, so now see we have all these people here. Okay, who are walking to work on mud and gravel roads. Just how we like it. So, this building is without a power supply and these workers don't have a job. It looks like everybody is going to work at the coal power plant. Current number of workers is 5 out of 20. Now, we have no coal here, so we're not producing anything, right? But luckily, we can purchase resources with our rubles. So let's purchase a tiny... Let's, let's buy like 8 tons of coal, okay? Shall we? Yeah? Sips. Friend, yeah. I usually admire everything you do. Up. Yeah. Your work is usually of the highest quality. Right. But what in the actual living fuck was that mole costume in the <laughs> bunker? Seriously? Uh, anyway, love you. Man. Less than count. I mean, I was working with people. It's not all my fault. Jeez. Come on, you can't blame me for everything. I mean, Lewis and Flax were both there. Like, they're, they can take equal blame. I didn't... I didn't come up with the idea of the claws and stuff. Man, what that challenge was just crazy, wasn't it? Okay, so now we have 16 out of the 20 required workers at the Priatin coal power plant. Wonderful. So now we have power is back on the menu. All right, let's get another gravel road that leads further down to here, right? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna build a farm for people to work at. Okay, we're gonna make an aggro farm with grain storage no just an aggro farm should be fine okay let's get this aggro farm like down the road here we can have it connect up but we're gonna build it like right here i think it's gonna get powered and then we're gonna connect it up with another gravel road we want to we want to like we don't want to we don't want to spoil our workers and citizens too much we don't want to westernize them too much we don't want them to get complacent and um, and feel entitled to good roads and stuff so we got to treat them mean and keep them keen that's what we're trying to do here um, we're also gonna need to have a I think like a small field will be fine actually so let's get a small field in here we'll have it like maybe we have the field more like here so that we can have like a couple of these bad boys so we have like one like that and we can maybe make maybe fit some more houses and stuff in there. okay so let's have a field like this and then we'll get some other ones in there too we were trying to plan out what the city is gonna gonna look like right so this can go like that and then we want this to somehow cross over here but maybe it won't doesn't like it at all gravel road gravel road take my home okay like that's fine okay, perfect all right so now this thing is uh ready to go but it has no tractors available to plant seeds we also have to assign this field here so we assign this field the protein small field status of the field is sowing at 0.00%, so we're gonna have to buy some sort of. This is a harvester. We're gonna have to buy a tractor. Okay, let's get the tractor MTZ82. No, let's get the tractor T28. It's cheaper. Okay, so now we have a tractor. Uh, we need a harvester as well. Let's get this red harvester. And then we need a truck as well. What's the cheapest truck money can buy? Probably this B1000 covered. All right, good. Everything is all right with this farm. There's mechanisms working for this farm three now. Perfect. Here come the boys. This is great. Well, once we start getting some crops, we will go we'll make a food fa I, I think we'll make a food factory and then we'll be able to feed our workers as well. We'll have to keep importing coal until we can mine some ourselves. But look at all, look at these dopes. Look, they're planting seeds in the small field right now. There's a ton to this game, yeah. I know it's nuts, isn't it? There's a lot of stuff in this game. You have to look at all the menus very carefully. All right, so we now have 17 people working this field. 
Uh, and we can also make footpaths. Look, we can make some footpaths. We can connect up all these houses like this. So that these people use footpaths, right? And then we can make it so that... I don't know if those connected. And then we should be able to make it so that they can... I don't know if that connects. I don't know if they can use this. Let's see. Is it a shortcut? No, it does not seem to be connected somehow. Let's try this again, shall we? Oh, it's got to connect from there, that's why. It's got to connect up like that. Okay, I think this will work now. I think we can plant trees and stuff if we want to make this look nicer as well. I think there is an option for tree planting. Trees and accessories. We can put some poplar trees in here. It looks more Italian now though, doesn't it? Doesn't look like doesn't look like the Russia that I know and love. The Soviet Union that that I'm familiar with, but whatever. Alright, so we have some dudes working here. We have nobody working here now it seems. I guess they've all gone home. And but everything is alright with this place. Oh look, I think he's just gone back to recharge his truck. Growing. Oh, it's completely sown. So we're now growing. And then we have to harvest. So we're just waiting for this field to grow now. Okay, good. In the meantime, then, let's get some more fucking fields going. Let's make sure that we have a lot of food for our, our workers. They're going to need lots of food, right? Good. Okay, so let's get this one assigned as well. Oh, there's no road connection yet. Okay, I'll get a road connection in and then we should be good to go, right? Uh-oh. Uh-oh! No! No, I can't do it! There's no pro Okay, we're gonna have to get rid of this one. We're gonna have to place this field elsewhere, I think. That's a little bit annoying. I wanted it to be like right in right in there, but we can't. We might have to like set it back a little bit. If we have to set it back a bit, let's set it back like this so that we can have like two of these bad boys side by side. There. Okay, perfect. So now we're gonna go uh, gravel road. Take me home to the place where I belong. And let's see if we can do this like turn in, in here. Oh yeah, we can. Okay, nice. And then we can just go like that. Perfect. Connect up like that. Nice. Okay, and then we say, you can have these fields as well. Two, fields two and three. Alright, get planting. Here he comes. <laughs> Alright, it's a bit of a mess, but hopefully it'll work anyway. We'll get some, we'll get some crops growing in there and then we can we can sell some food and stuff it'll be fantastic okay in the meantime let's whack in some more houses for uh for our workers shall we will it take the same yeah it does take the same it's kind of hard to like straighten this up though i think it's just gonna have to go like that oh maybe we can't get one on the uh on the side there like that Okay. I'm trying to be very careful here. I want to I want to make sure that we maintain symmetry and and the and the beauty of the region. <laughs> I'm trying to maintain the beauty of the region here. Okay, good. Nice. Oh yeah, this will fit here now. Interesting. Okay, good. So that's a couple more houses. We want to make sure we have plenty of workers, right? Yeah. The road's not odd as Auto snapping is literally the best thing. Can't wait to see what kind of masterpiece it'll become. That's true, yeah. You don't want the roads to do too much work for you, right? That's the thing. All right, so now we have this beautiful little little village by the river with a gigantic, belching, polluting coal power plant and a farm that's being... Um, we're seeding up this farm. That's nice, right? All right, so once the food is ready, we can make it... We can use a food factory to produce 20 tons of food. 
we have to consume 42 tons of crops, apparently, to create 22 tons, 20 tons of food. Uh, and then we can make a grocery store uh, for after as well, at a pub and a distillery. There's a livestock farm here, meat storage, and there's some cargo stations and stuff as well. So this food factory, how big is this? Quite big, it turns out. Okay. So we'll build this after. Um, to begin with though, let's get some grain storage going. We'll get a grain storage going here. We'll hook it up here. We want to store the we want to store the harvest, right? When it comes in. We don't want any anything to go to waste. Okay, perfect. So that's that. Wait, what are these other like inputs and stuff on the side? I'm not sure. Alright, perfect. God, that looks so gross, doesn't it? It just looks like like a Soviet super super factory, a super silo. No? The Socialist Soviet Republic believe in renewable sources of power? Not in this build of the game, it doesn't. No. Apparently the only power available is um, is coal. That's all that they've added to the game so far. There might be more though. The music is fine, only a little bit overwhelming. The music is the music really that loud? It doesn't sound that loud. This is the only this is the lowest possible setting, boys. <laughs> Otherwise we get no music, and the music is wonderful. Six. It really adds to the game. I was planning and tidying slash cleaning with your stream on in the background. Right. But I haven't moved off of my sofa. Okay. Tell me off. Alright. Motivate me. No. Thanks. No no. Love you. Keep watching. Who uh, chores will do themselves later. Who cares about all that stuff? Stay, watch. Stay here and watch. That's what you want to do. That's what you want to do. And for safe. OX. Thanks so much for the bits. And history person. Thanks for the donation as well. Hey, sip some quick history for you. 1970. Leonid Brezhnev was the leader of the USSR. It's interesting that this game is set in 1970. Some years before the era of stagnation would really hit the USSR. It was described as USSR's worst financial crisis. Thank you very much, history person. For that, that's nice. We're setting up for a financial meltdown here, apparently. But so far, things are looking pretty good. We've got everybody where we need them. We got, we got fields that are growing. This is nice. We've got fields that are sowing. This is nice. Uh, I don't know how many tons of crops we're going to be able to harvest from here. And it looks like we're waiting for quite some time before the crops to become harvestable. So we might have to think about making money another way. Yeah? No? Good morning, comrades. Yeah, that, that was a nice lesson, wasn't it? Um, okay, so let's go into um, various industry. We've got the wood industry, the clothing industry, and electronic and mechanization industry. We can make a plastics factory. What about a wood cutting post and then a sawmill? We could cut 6.3 tons of wood. Look, there's lots of wood to be cut around here, I believe. We want to build this close to the power plant because I don't know how the power lines and stuff work yet. So what if we were to put this like here and then hook it up with like the end of this road here? Okay, let's try it. Okay, let's put this here and see if we can cut some wood. Okay, let's build the gravel road. Connect up to here like that. But wait. We want this to be a mud road, right? To fit in with the with the surroundings. Okay, so is this working? There's no workers and trucks. Okay, what kind of truck do we need for this? Oh, look it. We could get a logger. What's this one? There's no Scorpion Kings, but there's a U377 logger. We need workers to fell trees, apparently, at the woodcutting post. It looks like there's some boys heading out there right now. Okay, good. So now we have a, a logger here that's ready to do some... Oh, yeah, look at that bad boy parked up, ready to go. That's good. Should we buy another one as well, just in case? Let's get two loggers in here. Okay. 
That's perfect. Um, I don't know. Oh, yeah, there we go. Close that. Oh, off they go. Look at these logging trucks. They're doing it. Oh, that's fantastic. Holy shit. These trucks are just knocking down trees left, right, and center. So now we need a sawmill. We're going to need to to build a sawmill now. Okay. Various industry. Sawmill. It's going to cost us a lot of uh, a lot of money to get this sawmill up and running. But I think it'll be worth it, right? It'll be funded from our rubles. Okay, good. And we'll get power from our power plant here, too. Okay, let's see how this goes. Oh, look at this. Look at all these piles of wood out here. So I think the problem is, is they have nowhere to take this stuff. Fell trees ready to transport from forest. We have 85 tons. 89 tons. 91 tons of trees so far. Man, we're never going to run out of trees. Maybe we can plant some more as well. We need the Scorpion King. Yeah, we do, yeah. Definitely need the Scorpion King. Okay. There's no workers, and we're missing some wood. So we need to start bringing in some wood. We can purchase resources for dollars if we want to, but I don't think that that's required. We now have workers. We're just waiting for wood to be delivered. Wood cutting post. Working for printing wood cutting post automatic. Do I have to set up like a route or something here? How does this work? Economy and trade? No. Uh, infrastructure? Connection between factories. Build a factory connection? Oh, I think we have to do it like this. I think we have to... Must go directly from building A to building B. It's too long, apparently. So what, does that have to be closer or something? What game is this? I don't know. Could these guys not... Oh, maybe it's because these guys need to deliver. They need like a delivery truck. Like, what's this? This one has a crane, and this one's an open hull. T138, open hull, open hull. Maybe we need like a, de a delivery truck. Let's. This one can do eight tons of wood. Okay, let's get this one here and see if they'll... Maybe this one will deliver. Or maybe we have to set up that connection. Oh, something's happening. I think it's going to pick up the wood. So, should we just have like one cutter and one deliverer or something? Oh, now all of them are working for some reason. Were they just going to drop this stuff off? Oh, they're dropping the boards off, I see. So now that these boards are dropped off, we have to see how this works. Okay, so he's like just gonna stop and wash up and refuel and stuff, I guess. Hopefully. So we now have... There's 2,392 tons of wood in the forest. And we have like 200 tons of wood just sitting at this depot here right now. But we're missing resources. I don't know what the deal is with this guy. He's transporting stuff, but I don't know like where he's going to transport it to. The town looks pretty grim. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it does look pretty grim, right? It's taking forever for the fields to grow too, but we'll get on it shortly, I think. So do we So does this mean that we have to build this like relatively close to here, like closer than we got it now for this connection to work? Road cargo station or warehouse? Maybe it needs like a warehouse or something instead? Will this like serve like as an as like an interim, this cargo station or something? Jesus, look at this thing. Fuck. It's crazy. What about this where oh my god, look at the warehouse. It's got train stuff on it too i don't understand this part of it like at all i think we i think it's got to be something to do with this connection though right because we're not like taking any of the stuff here connection between factories just build a straight up factory connection but it's too far away apparently it just doesn't want to do it so these roads are meant for like um people to walk on and stuff 
more so. Well, I mean, we'll, we'll have to just try it out, right? What's this road cargo station? Maybe we just try this. Maybe this, maybe this is close enough to do like an interim sort of thing. Let's try it. So we say, build a connection. No, it's too long again. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's like a bit crazy. So you can't you can't just build this like into nothing either. It has to connect up to like So that's too long too. What the fuck? Okay, so we can delete this then. Cuz we don't need it, right? The roads are meant for walking. It looks th This is really the most advanced city builder. Yeah, connecting to Oh, there are those inputs? Is that what they are? No, they're not inputs, are they? Chat, none of you guys have this game. I'm not listening to what you're saying. Look, it's got it's got an in and an out here. It's fine. This got to be the output here, right? And then and then one of these acts as like the input. It has to be. So maybe if we if we demolish this and just put it closer. Let's try that. We'll try this instead, right? We'll cancel this road here too. Okay, that'll like slowly slowly die <laughs> okay various industry we want a sawmill so we want this sawmill to go like oh for christ's sake say it ain't so any -E can we just like have it like that that's got to be close enough right and then we go for this connection like this Okay, it's connected now. Let's see if it works, boys. We'll see if it works. Okay, let's get this mud road looping around here. What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, we can't, like, quite connect that somehow. There we go. Okay, connection made. All right, it's gotta go. Oh. Okay, hang on a second. It, it is delivering the boards now, or there are some boards there. So we'll just have to see if this actually works. We have no workers, so we have to we have to get some workers turning up to the sawmill to work in the first place, right? The dirt road really looked like shit-stained toilet paper. Man, you should go to the doctor if that's what your toilet paper looks like after you've used it. I don't think that's right. Like, I think your poo is meant to be a bit, like, darker brown than that. Like, if your poop is beige and looks like, like, worms, you might have, you might have some worms. I'm just, go, I think you could take a pill and then you'll, like, puke them up. It looks like spaghetti when you puke them up. That's what happens when you live on Mountain Dew and hot dogs. Yeah, I guess so. I guess that's right, uh, Madoga. That's exactly what happens. All right, these guys are taking forever to walk to work, but it looks like we're producing. We've got the wood. We've got the wood and we're producing planks. So I think eventually we can buy stuff without using money. I, th I think, like, all of the resources that we gather can be used to build stuff, and we don't actually need to buy any of the materials ourselves. So we can make, like, for instance, a house out of just wood. <laughs> just planks. I don't know when that, when this, when this happens, though. Auto build from rubles? Yeah, so this one, resources needed to build. We need 9.7 tons of concrete. 7.4 tons of gravel, 6 tons of asphalt, 29 tons of bricks, 13 tons of boards, and 5.7 tons of steel. Okay, so we're going to be building from rubles for quite some time before we can amass all this stuff. Economy and trade. Uh, what have we made in terms of planks? Domestic production and consumption. Overall, we're making money, apparently. How is this possible? I don't even know. Current prices on the global market. Boards. Boards sell for, um, we can sell them for 15 bucks in dollars, or we can sell them for uh, 12.46 rubles. I don't know if it auto sells them. I don't know how it works. We have a whole bunch of this stuff 
being stored up though. Look, we have 35 out of 50 tons. So we're going to need to have like some sort of warehouse soon as well, right? Um, so we're at storage and warehouses. So that's oil and fuel. That's grain storage. Open storage. This can store 870 tons of boards. Holy shit. Okay. Let's get our boards stored in here. Um, and then we can have like a train line connecting to it as well if we need it. So we can connect that up, but then our connections are all screwed after that too, right? So ideally, I think we want to put this like... Where the hell can we put this? So that it connects up. Because we're going to need to be able to... Oh, fuck me, boys. This is, this is going to be tough. Look, it's like a puzzle already. How do we solve this puzzle? This is rail lines. Look, because the, the road is... It's going gonna, it's gonna to screw it, right? And we're not going to be able to get anybody to come and work here. We're going to need to build, like, bridge or something. Can you build a bridge? Railways, connection between factories, footpaths. Uh, I guess we could maybe do it with the footpath from the road there. It doesn't necessarily need to connect up with the road. Okay, let's see. Maybe this open storage is not the way. Meat storage, aggregate storage. This is just a warehouse. Again, it, it kind of screws us up here, though, because these, these connections all have to, like, get by, too, right? Maybe if we do it like this and connect it up with a footpath, it'll be better. <laughs> Fuck, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. This is the truth, chat. I don't know. Oh, come on. The turn is too sharp. Okay, I want to demolish this now. I placed it in the wrong spot. I don't know if I like this setup. I, I think we could probably do better, right? Could probably do a little bit better. Warehouse. So we can, we can store the wood as well. Maybe we just want to have this so it's like... that and then we go in here and connect this bad boy directly up like that okay and then we need what like a um a footpath how do we get a, a footpath though so we can make a, a a mud footpath Oh, this is ridiculous. <laughs> oh my god, what a mess! I mean, it's good though, because we're gonna be able to store... Oh my god, I don't even think we can. I don't think this thing stores the planks! This warehouse is the wrong thing! Oh my god. Okay. It doesn't... It won't even store those planks in there. After all of that. That's crazy. That is crazy. Okay, let's get rid of all this road here as well. Go back to basics. Okay, so where's this storage and warehouse? Warehouse. It doesn't. Look, fabric, alcohol, food, clothes. Okay, so we'll have to make one of those. Okay, so we can do an open storage small, which is going to store 330 tons of boards. And then just hook this bad boy directly up like... Ah, this is a little bit better, actually. We can hook this bad boy up directly like this. This is the one I was looking for, I think. Hook that up like that. And then we can go back in here with some mud roads. And then we could just connect... <laughs> oh, God. We could just connect that up like that so that people can actually get here and work. Oh, we don't even need people to work here. For shit's sake. Look at how depressed- oh, fuck. Oh my god, there's a full fire there. Okay, what do we need for foods and crops, trees, energy, storage and warehouses, residential buildings? 
platforms and terminals. There's bus platforms, civil facilities, fire station. Okay, we're going to need to have a fire station, I think. Alright. People of the Republic. Here, have a fire station. We can't let our workers die in house fires like this any longer. There we go. We're investing many rubles into ensuring the safety of our fellow man. Our fellow comrades. What is burning? It's a house. There's a, the house is on fire there. Wow, Dale K, it's your birthday today. Holy crap, man. Happy birthday. Okay, so fire destroyed a building. We're never going to get it back, unfortunately. So let's tr let's rebuild. We'll rebuild where our comrades fell. But now we have firefighters. Oh, yeah, we don't have the trucks, though. Okay, let's buy uh, a couple of fire trucks. What are the cheapest ones money can buy? <laughs> okay, there we go. Let's get some fire trucks, boys. There we go. We got three really crappy fire trucks. Nice. Um, should we increase the amount of workers? We need firefighters. Oh, do you know what? I wonder if people need to go to school to learn how to become... Nope, they don't. All right, good. We have a whole bunch of boys turning up for their first day on the job. That's right. Firefighters. Okay. We still don't have enough factory workers. We have half of the firefighters we need. We've got half of the people in the sawmill that we need. And half of the woodcutters that we need as well. Population statistics. We have eight unemployed workers apparently. Um, with the average productivity of 56%. The average age of our comrades are 27 years old. 27.09 years old. We have two babies, we have 15 children, and 125 productive age workers. That's nice. Should we up it a little bit too? I mean, we're, there's always going to be unemployed people, right? There's nothing we can do about that. Some people just aren't meant to work right some people just will not do it those people we just have to put up with unfortunately with our socialism we're gonna help them out with our with our our socialism crap I think I screwed this up down here big time okay I'll have to do anyway all right, so we're gonna have to go in with the old dirt road. Let's put this dirt road like here, though, so that it lines up better, it makes like an intersection, right? And then look, maybe we could spruce the area up a bit with some trees and shit. Ha ha ha. No? Wanna put some trees down? What about some, what about like some red star monuments? Look at this thing, it's huge. Very communist. What about this like little symbol of Yeah. There's a there's a Lenin concrete monument here and a Lenin statue in copper. We could put this like just outside here. For the people to enjoy. I think they're going to love that, actually. I think that's going to bring great happiness to the workers. Okay, let's get a couple of trees up in here, too. You can make your own parks. You don't need to download a DLC for it, either. Just fucking go for it. Look at this. Just making my own bushes and stuff here. No problem. Wow, that's a big... Big so oh, that's huge too actually. Okay, good. Good, that's looking great. Alright, so we're clear cutting the forest here, which is going surprisingly well. We're filling up with boards as well. Look, the boys are producing so many boards here. They're running out of wood now. So that's nice. How are we doing for coal? Still got lots of coal left over. 
We had to purchase initially some coal to get up and running. But ever since we've been up and running, it's no problem. Am I going to play the Division 2 anymore? Um, yeah, I'll probably come back and play. Yeah, I tried playing last night and I rage quit because uh, I joined with uh, P-Squid. Um, well, P-Squid joined me when I logged in. And um, he's like level 23 or something now. And I think like the I think the scaling is off somehow because like I was just getting one shot repeatedly like by anybody who even looked my way, it was really annoying. So I think I need to like not group with people who are level 23 or whatever, because that it was quite frustrating. Division two sucks ass. I en I enjoyed it. I thought it was all right actually. It's not the best game I've ever played, but it was pretty good. Hmm. Scaling is broken at the moment. It feels broken. I mean, I don't know if it is for sure, but it definitely felt like it was. Is this stuff growing? It's like half grown. Okay, good. We might be getting some food soon. It's nice. So we're getting boards and we're storing the boards. Are we actually selling these boards though? I don't know if we are. Boards. Can you, like, mark stuff to be sold? Immigrant invitations, foreign manpower, vehicles imported. I don't know if we have. It's going to take a little while to list of vehicles and buildings. Wow. Already. Look at all the buildings and trains and... So the population of Pritin is 218 comrades. 218 comrades currently working in Pratine. We've got wood coming in. We've got boards being made. We have uh, 2,153 bucks worth of boards. But I don't know how to sell this stuff. Maybe we need like a residential education related. Is it time for us to build a kindergarten, do you think? Medical university, technical University and the headquarters of the Communist Party. There's some hostels here and some bus platforms and stuff too. Should we make a kindergarten for, for the kids? Where's a safe place to put a kindergarten? Right next to this this power place or here? Close to the fire station. Probably makes more sense, right? I think we have to build it like here. Okay, we'll make a kindergarten so that people who have like young children can still work as long as their kids are in kindergarten, right? <laughs> okay, the footpath is connected. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? Babies at the kindergarten. <laughs> None. Currently, there are no babies at the kindergarten. But there's space for 11 babies at the kindergarten. 14 babies at the kindergarten. 17 babies at the... 18. There's one baby at the kindergarten. Look, he's two years old. He's gonna live until he's like 73. It's Baltabev Siegfrieds Kirolovich. Oh, wow. Great. So that means that a comrade can go out and work while his baby is at the kindergarten. Oh, that's nice. One little baby, yeah. Ten staff for one baby, yeah. That, that baby is gonna get all of the TLC that that baby needs, right? It's gonna be incredible could be really incredible okay what what's next boys what do we got to think about doing now we probably need various industry clothing so this needs fabric which we're not making fabric needs crops and chemicals and power we're not making any chemicals how can we start making oil bitumen and fuel okay we can have an oil rig and an oil refinery. Fucking oil rig.
it looks like there's some rich oil deposits. Possibly right underneath Priatin. Like, I'm thinking like right here. We might be we might be getting some oil here, boys. Look at this. Look at how green it is around here. Which means that we're gonna need a pipeline of some description. Which is frankly quite exciting. Okay, let's go for it. Let's get a gravel road hooked onto here. Maybe like Oh my god, I could listen to this song all day long. It's so fucking good. Okay, so this isn't powered up. So we're gonna need what? A substation? I think a substation will just about do it. If we have it like right here. And then we have some power lines. So is this thing on now? Ah! It is operating without issues. Currently, it is getting oil. 5.67 tons of oil per day, in fact. That's incredible, guys. Holy shit, look at how industrious we've become already. All right, so what's this one? We want a oil fuel storage. Oh, it's big. <laughs> it's a bit big. It, it, maybe it's too big. Okay, so the pipeline has to like hook up to here, I think. We have to level this bit off here, too. Okay, let's build that there. And then we go into infrastructure, pipeline, pipe connection. Oh, we can, we can use E and Q to like adjust the height as well. That's kind of nice. So it can go like, it can go low. Must go from input to output. Oh, I see. Whoops, my bad. I'm trying to put it into the wrong... So that's out. So this has to go in here like this. <laughs> okay, that's wonderful. Okay, does anybody actually have to work here or not? Probably not, right? Okay, we have to level this, this out. What's going on with the height of this? Oh my god. I don't know if I'm going to ever be able to connect this up, by the way. It's going to be a total mess. Although, having said that, it looks like I've almost had some luck here. I think it's, like, I think it's these power lines that are in the way here. I think if it was oh, I think if it wasn't for these power lines, I'd be in great shape actually. It's just like one power line that's here. Okay, let me go to power lines. Delete these power lines for now, so that I can build this road, and then I'll build it back over top. Yes. Yeah, I knew it was the power line. Look at that, much better. Okay, so we go in here, power line. Medium voltage wire. Connect that bitch up. Okay, she's back. She's back up to running. Okay, so we can store 900 tons of oil in here. Currently producing quite a bit. This is good. We got a we got a nice pipe. Wow. Look at this. Look at Preetin. It's coming along real nice now. Look, we got people. We got a firehouse. We got a kindergarten with three babies in it. We also have a wood cutting post and a sawmill. 
people are making boards and some open storage for even more boards. Maybe the reason you aren't exporting is because you aren't connected to the outside? Oh, quite possible, yeah. Or you think we need to, like, connect to the outside with a, with a road? Maybe we need to invest in some infrastructure. Look at how big this fucking map is, though. Shit. Maybe I, uh, maybe I founded our, our first Soviet Republic city too far away <laughs> from everything. We'd have to go, like, up here and connect up to... Calzina. Calzina looks like it. It looks like it's Calzina. But we can make railways. Yes. How much is this railway going to cost us? Oh my god. Lots of money it turns out. Maybe we don't go railways straight away. Maybe we just start off with some simple concrete you know what? Some gravel roads to get things kicked off. Yeah? Let's have a straight road that comes like this. You curve up through here. There, we're making the, the first Soviet, high, Soviet People's Republic Highway. That's right. For exports. We're going to make the Silk Road. But the Soviet version of the Silk Road. This is going to be incredible. Okay, yes, it's chewing into a lot of our money. Yes, we're potentially looking at making a gravel road tunnel through this mountain. But you know what? We're doing it for the people. At least it's the 1970s and there's trucks, right? Could be worse. Could be a lot worse. Oh, Lord. <laughs> How do I make a tunnel? Oh, there are... There's bridges! Build a road tunnel! Okay. This is gonna cost a lot of money to make this, this tunnel, but it's gotta be worth it, right? Alright, boys. Let's make it happen. It's just rubles, right? Who cares? Is it done? Yeah, it is. Oh my god. Okay. We may be in, in a situation whereby soon we have a bridge in our fair city. Shit. Can we get over here? Okay, we're gonna have to bridge over here. Oh man. I'm excited, are you guys? I think this is gonna be fucking awesome, by the way. Okay, let's flatten the terrain out a little bit here. And prepare for bridge. Okay, what kind of bridge are we gonna make? A steel and brick bridge. We can adjust the height of this bridge as well, if we want to. I don't think it's necessary though. Okay, let's hook up that. And then look, we have this like nice, nice quiet drive along the river and it'll hook up directly with Farmville. Okay, we now have a full connection to the outside. Okay, this tunnel is taking forever to build. Look at how many workdays are left. 23,000 workdays left. This is going to be our people's biggest accomplishment. That's right. But look at we made a we've made a gravel highway that connects out to the real world for exports. So all this money that we're spending, we're going to be making back, right? It's going to be fantastic. We're going to be able to like get some oil stored in here. Uh, how do we, like, export the oil? Storage and warehouses? Oil fuel? Aggregate storage? Meat storage? Open? Oil fuel? Is there, like, a... A transport thing? Various industry. Clothing industry? Plastics? 
plastics. Needs chemicals, oil, and power. Makes plastics. Soviet Union is going to collapse before that tunnel. Nah, no, come on. What are you talking about? This is what's going to... This is what's going to... This is what's going to do it for us big time. People are going to... From... People in the West are going to look at us and they're going to say, God damn, how did those guys make that tunnel? So efficiently and effectively with only rubles at their disposal. I can't believe it. And look, hopefully we're going to... Look, it, we're not going to run out of money. Look, it's almost done. It's like half done and we haven't even wasted half of our money yet, right? It's going to be fine. Look. We have no workers on this construction site, and I think it's because we don't have a construction office. So maybe we need to have a construction, and there's a rail construction office as well. Concrete asphalt. Okay, let's go for this construction office here. We're gonna build a construction office so that we can start getting people working on the roads and stuff, right? It's gonna go quicker. There we go. Sources of resources, workers for construction. Workers, gravel, concrete, steel, bricks, prefab tunnels, boards. Nothing assigned. Okay. And we can get some vehicles here too. Are these buses? Look at these road vehicles. A micro bus from Latvia. Okay, let's get this. We'll get a bus in here. Specify or replace a source building. Okay, I really don't know how this stuff works though. Assign construction. So we can say assign this construction. Construction cannot be assigned. The construction is financed. Cancel contract. Then construction can be assigned to this office. Oh, because it's finance. Oh, I see. So you use the construction office to, to coordinate the stuff that you build with your own resources and not the stuff that you buy with, uh, with that you finance with rubles. Okay, gotcha. So we, got, we have a bus now that can take our workers to these job sites when we have all the resources we need to build stuff. Oh, there's a building on fire. Flat brick too. Oh, look. Mobilize the men! Comrades! We have a fire in... in Brick Flats 1! Here they come! Wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo. Fire extinguished! Great job, boys. That's just fantastic. Holy shit. Alright, crisis averted. Our brave firefighters were able to put out the fire. Yeah? I'm mad with power and hormones. Yeah. What? Am I? I don't know if I am. Look at this progress. It's almost done. Look at this. I wonder if we're using any of our own boards for this. The construction is currently running without issues. Completely financed. Out of the coffers of the Worker People's Republic of Soviet Russia. Or whatever you would call all this the Soviet Union. How are we doing for coal? We're, we're fine. 24 tons of coal at max production, but it's fine. We're ba barely producing any power. We don't really need it. Look, we're at, we're at maximum voltage, but our wattage not so high. It's pretty good. So this was kind of a waste, actually. I mean, it's good. It'll be good to have for later, but we don't need it like just now. I don't think there's anything that we can build with just boards. I, we're gonna need to start extracting some other resources from the ground, but I just want to see if once this is done, if it does anything. Balazros. What about Balazros? We could set up another town up here. Maybe just like as a little rest stop for people who are going on the highway. Can we build like a hotel or something? There's a grocery store, small store, shopping center, cinema, pub. A tennis playground, a football playground. Television station, a hospital, pollution monitoring station, a fire station, a radio station. Maybe we can make a cool radio station, no? What are these, like, prefabs? 80 workers. Oh my god. What's this? Six. 
These are prefab flats. We can make, we can get even more people in. I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself here. I don't want to run out of money. Not when things are going so well, you know. The people's sex tunnel brothel. What? I have been to Eastern Europe and roads like that have bars and brothels. Okay, well, we'll build some, some entertainment along the highway, okay? When it's, it's almost done now. Okay, we're gonna see if we can start selling some of these resources for money. So that we can finance the rest of our, the rest of our undertakings, right? What do you guys think of this game so far? It's a little bit janky, but it's, I think it's got a lot, shows a lot of, it's early access, right? But I think it shows a lot of promise. The map is fucking huge as well, which is a nice, a nice thing, yeah? It's pretty good, yeah. It is pretty janky, yeah. You like the aesthetic? Yeah, I think it definitely has potential. I mean, there's quite a bit in it, surprisingly, as well, for early access. Some games do not have a lot of things in it. Yeah, I think it's pretty good so far. Well, we'll see. There's, there's more to do. I think if we can figure out all of this stuff better... We could have, like, some really cool little towns set up for, like, you know, efficiently extracting resources and doing stuff with them. Especially if we could sell those resources for money, I think that'd be kind of cool. But if not, just saving them for, like, other stuff is probably okay, too. I guess you want to get to a point where you're not financing stuff anymore. You want to get all the resources you need to undertake your own constructions. And then just stockpile tons of money. And have like golden toilets all in your in your communist presidential palace and stuff like that, right? Oh, you should play Railway Empire. It looks great and right up my street. And Tropico Six is out pretty soon too. Yeah, we'll probably play both of them. Railway Empire, I heard, it doesn't have much depth, but it looks quite nice. I mean, we could always try it out. We'll see. Okay, it's done. It's done, and we're not bankrupt. Okay, and now we have a connection to the outside. So what does this mean? Import and export trade. Uh, for this month. Oh look, I think we can get power from here too. This is the custom house. All resources delivered into this custom house will be sold for rubles. So they are currently... Uh, are they buying... Are they buying boards? Yeah, they are for... One ton of boards for 12 rubles. And are they buying oil as well? Oil, yeah. One ton of oil for 41.98 rubles. So we'd have Top to... Top three games of all time. We have to deliver stuff here, but... It... View this building. How do you deliver stuff to it? Storage and warehouse? So what would we want? We would want open storage? So we connected it up for the road, but I don't know where the inputs are. So I don't know if, like how we could do a connection. There's no way to connect up to that. So is there like some sort of um, storage energy related? High voltage, no. Grain storage. Aggregate is for like minerals and ores and stuff. Need to build a railroad. What? Hey, Milk. Thanks so much for the donation. Top three favorite games of all time. Um, I think, honestly, I think Skyrim, Subnautica, and probably, um,. Probably like City Skylines or something like that. Planet Coaster should be in there too somewhere. But those have been great. I have really liked them. Like, and they're all kind of recent as well. But man, they're great games. It's a gulag. I don't have a gulag. There's probably some kind of trade building. Okay, I don't know where that would be though. Would it come under various industry? Hello, Daddyo. How are you today? I'm good. Yes, good. Glad to hear it. Good. I'm well too. Thanks for asking. Oh, great. Don't you just hate it when your cat wakes you up like this? Meow. This meow. Is a bus meow. Platform. Meow. 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 I don't even have meow. a cat. Meow. This never happens meow. to me. Meow. I've meow. never been woken up meow. by a cat before. Meow. 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 
Bus platform, radio station, fire station, television station, train platforms for passengers though. There's a pub, a cinema, shopping center, a small store. These are all buildings. Education related, there's hostels for workers and there's universities here too and schools and kindergartens. Food and crops, meat, other common buildings, warehouse, and a road cargo station. It's got to be this road cargo station, right? But then it has nothing to connect to, right? You know, there's a new Subnautica game. Yeah, I knew. You might need to explain where things are, how you do things. Yeah, they don't really do a great job of that so far. We'll figure it out, though. It's not, it's not too bad. Loading and unloading stations. Here we go. There's an oil and fuel loading and unloading. Right. Okay, I think this could be the one. So we can unload here. Hook this into like here. Or maybe like unload it here. 